Um, good morning, my name is Diana Davila. Nora Barry. And today we're going to talk about Edgar Allan Poe and his biographical approach. A little about him, he was born on uh, January 19 of 1809 in Boston, Massachusetts. And he died on October 7 of 1845 in Baltimore, uh, Maryland. Poe is one of the most important and influential American writers of the 19th century. Um, Poe's father was alcoholic, and his mother died when he was two years old. Um, Edgar Allan Poe, um, his work revealed many ideas of death, heartbreak, depression, and mental instability. He was the first author to try to work, to live from his writing work. His work can be described as gothic, and Poe's right, uh, ghost stories are about dark themes as horror and death. Main idea. Our main idea is that Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe was a great writer who used the unfortunate circumstances of his life to write great stories such as the tell, tell Heart and the Cast of Amontillado. In the Tell Tell Heart, this is the story of a man who is extremely nervous for a crime he committed. He recounts that he murdered an old man because how the old man looked at him, particularly with his evil eye. Leading up to the murder, the man behind befriends the old man, and for seven straight nights, he enters the old man's bedroom at night and watches him sleep. However, he cannot commit the act of murder because he claims that he must see the old man's eye before killing him. On the eighth night, when the man enters the bedroom, the old master stirs and suspects someone is in the room. The man approaches him and already knowing what he's going to do, goes on and grabbing the old man, throws him on the floor and smashes um, him with the bed. The old man dies. The man then disassembles the body and places the pieces under the floorboards. The man is very confident that he has gotten away with murder. However, he hears a knock on the door in the morning and sees a few police officers. The officers say that someone reported a scream and a struggle in the middle of the night. Because the man is confident that he hit, confident that he hit the body so well, he shows the officers around the house even sets some chairs for them to sit right above where the old man remains are hidden. But the man starts to hear a, or a loud beating. The officers didn't seem to hear, but the sound is driving the man crazy. In the end, the man admits that he killed the old man and it's assumed to be like that. The narrator is intensely nervous, but claims that he isn't insane. Starts with an idea, an idea that turns into an obsession. He had no reason for the committed murder due to the fact that he loved the old man. It was just that he had the evil of a vulture, the eye of a vulture, a pale blue eye with a film over it, and this is what started the idea. Um, the Cask of Amontillado. This is a story about a man named Montresor that wants to kill another man named Fortunato, but didn't want anyone to know about it so that he wouldn't go to jail. Instead, he lets Fortunato die by himself. One day, the man sees Fortunato, get, greets him, and tells him that he had just bought some Amontillado, a good wine, but doesn't know if he got a good deal. So Montresor does this to trick him. Fortunato is a self-proclaimed wine expert and would love to verify if the wine is authentic. The man insists that Fortunato continue his day, but Fortunato insists that he would help. Two men ventured down to the wine in the underground vaults. Fortunato had a bad cough and insists that he can keep going. When they get to the vault with the Amontillado, the man restrained Fortunato to the wall with a chain and lock. Drunk Fortunato remains still while the man begins to wall him with bricks. Slowly by slowly, the man builds the wall to shut Fortunato in. Fortunato begins to struggle, and, but the man keeps building up the wall leaving him there for dead, turning this story of revenge and a secret murder. In conclusion, uh, in both stories, starting the same form, 
narrating the reason he had to commit the crime. Uh, knowing this, Paul's writing catches the attention of the, of the current uh, re readers. Um, in both story, stories, murders exist. exist. Um, what causes for, for a minor reason? Uh, for example, in the tale of the heart, it was for the evil eye, and in the case of Amontillado, because of the bad joke. Uh, in both stories, he had he, he had both, both bodies under the floor, um, and the other one between the walls. Poe's life had many hardships that inspired his work. Readers can clearly see the connection to Poe and the other people in his life to the characters in his point of story. Many of Poe's works may seem normal at first, but almost always end in tragedy, just like his life did. 